we choose to become human in the process of becoming political creatures. It's an interesting idea. I think the other thing that's a clear message here is that freedom does demand moral courage. No question about it, and this is one of the things I think that Jefferson learned from his study of Rousseau. And to be, just notice his use of analysis and examination, his use of aphorism, man is born free but everywhere is in chains. Notice the powerful symbolism of chains, right? That which limits freedom. And as we're always looking at 2B, note the irony. We sometimes have to choose to be slaves or give up part of our freedom, right, through the use of the social contract. Of course, <coughs> excuse me, here's the real question for Rousseau, and it's one that we continue to struggle with today. It's the Lord of the Flies question. It's the Jack question. What happens and what do you do when the shell, the conch, gets broken? That is to say, if you have people that don't want to live within the moral sphere, then how do you respond to that? Finally, in 3A, what are some other texts? I've mentioned Plato's Republic, Aristotle's politics comes to mind. We obviously can see some similarities and differences with Laos's view and Machiavelli's view. We're getting ready to study Jefferson, and we'll want to make some adjustments there. I've mentioned Golding's Lord of Flies. Think about our study of Dickens' Tale of Two Cities as it relates to this. The final one at 3A I want to give to you is Will Durant's great writer of prose, his classic 11-volume set, Story of Civilization. <coughs> Excuse me, I recommend that you take a look at volume number 10, Rousseau and Revolution. It is compelling reading. Finally, at 3B, how are you going to relate a text like this to yourself? Do you believe that all men are born free? Or is there this thing called determinism? How about the social contract? Does it make sense to you? Consider, for example, the ways we do this already. Like the rules of driving, for example. We all kind of accept these rules, don't we? How do you account, another question, <coughs> excuse me, how do you account for slavery for so long? It's a tragedy in the history of the world. How do you account for it happening for so long? Finally, this question, is the world and you becoming more or less free? Well, there you go. I hope that you'll enjoy our study of Rousseau. Let's turn now to our study of uh, Jefferson and the Declaration of Independence and the role of government, and this question of freedom continue. Thank you.